Lightboxes in Storyline are a fantastic way to put content at your learner's fingertips. Check out this example. In this orientation course, we have this section with a map that learners can explore. And on our map slide, we've included this little blue button here for some supplemental content. It happens to be for some parking information. Well, if we click on that, the player and everything else grows dim behind this light box effect so that we can explore that supplemental content, which might contain videos, it might include some audio, it might contain some animations, really whatever you want can be included in a light box. And then when we're done, we just click on the X to go back and we're right where we were a minute ago. So a light box is a really nice, clean way to give learners on-demand content when they need it. Another cool way to use a light box is to place it directly on your player, which is a great option for things that you want to make available from anywhere in your course. And this course has an example of that too. No matter what slide we're on, we can come right up here to the top of the player and click on this tab next to our resources tab where it says people to call. And here we see another example of a light box. It's going to dim everything else behind it. And then the learner can see or interact with the featured content. And then when they click to close, they're right back where they were before. Now, if we back up and go to a different slide or we click to a different spot in the course, you'll notice that that option is still right up there on the player. We can get to it from any slide. So let's check out how easy it is to add Lightbox content like this to a Storyline project. The content that you show in a Lightbox is just a slide or a series of slides. And in this course, I've built this slide right here in scene two that I want to add as a light box on my player. So to do that, I would come up here to the Home tab and then click on the Player button. And when the Player Properties Manager appears, we'll see a window right here at the left that shows all of our player tabs. Well, I'm going to add a player tab for my light box slide. So I'm going to click on this Add button and we're going to name this tab People to Call. And then the location here is fine. I'm going to choose top bar right, but you can choose top bar left if you prefer. That's up to you. And then here's where the light box part comes in. For the action, I want to light box a slide. And the slide that I want to light box is this one right here, slide 2.1. And that's really all there is to it. And now when we preview or publish our course, then learners will be able to click on that player tab right here from anywhere in the course and then they'll see that light box content. Now let's look at the other type of example where learners can launch a light box from a specific slide rather than from the player. Okay, in this scene right here, scene three, I've built some content that I want to show in a light box and the slide where I want learners to be able to view that light box is this slide right here, the map slides. I'm going to double click to get to that. And I've already added a button here on my map slide that I want learners to click on to launch the light box. Now, all I have to do is come up here to my trigger panel. I'm going to click on the add trigger link to add a trigger to my button. And again, this is really simple to set up. The action that we want to choose is we want to light box a slide. And which slide do we want to light box? Well, it's actually a series of slides, but it starts with slide 3.1. So we're going to select that. And then I'm also going to mark this checkbox right here that allows me to show navigation controls. That way, learners are going to have the next and previous buttons right there within the light box so that they can click through all four slides that I want to show in this series. And when do we want this to happen? When the learner clicks on our button. So we're good to go there. And now if we preview our course again, we should see that when we jump to our map slide and click on our blue button here to launch our light box, we should see that content display just as we intended. And we even have our controls down here at the bottom of the light box so that we can advance through all the slides in that series. So it really is that easy to create a light box effect with any content that you like in Articulate Storyline.